The SketchUp Photo Match tool is one of the quickest ways to place your 3D model in the real world. Not only that, but it also gives you the power to take real textures and place them on 3D forms that you can model with live. Hello and welcome to the Complete SketchUp Guide. I'm Brandon and in this lesson I go through working with Photo Match pretty much taking a photograph and making it 3D within SketchUp. If you have any questions or comments, please leave that below. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. So we're going to use Photo Match to be a little more accurate one of these buildings from this site. Okay, so this is a area. It's in uh, Memphis, hometown. And I want to get this image and make a little more accurate building. Um, I use Earth and View for a lot of graphic functions. So I'm going to press C and uh, just get the the uh, current uh, window. So whatever you use, or if you're using a photograph, it's great. So I'm clicking here. So I got this. All I need is this part of the building. Control Y. I can save this to the desktop. And I'll just say perspective. If I go in here, and having this is great, but uh, I know the building I'm looking at, from some of these is, is probably right here. Um, I go back to the map. Yeah, that's, that's the location. Um, so if I draw a decent footprint, can leave my little modernist building there. Um, I can go ahead and uh, hide most of the model here, or I can actually do this in another file. But uh, but in general, I just go to come in here and uh, draw this box. And it, it is going to draw perpendicular. So that's solve one headache. I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna say new. Take away our model. Now we want to draw in perspective. And uh, we can get that tool from our photo match, uh, which is under camera. And we have uh, several different folders we could use. Uh, we're gonna stick to what we're trying to do with this. And at this photo match, I'm gonna go ahead and set it up where this corner of this building is going to be our control. So what you see in the photo match is you see pretty much a perspective setup. These green axes goes to this point, the red, these two lines go to this point. And you're trying to align the these little axis lines to something in the photograph. So you need a photograph that has enough sort of perspective information. So that's one great reason for this photograph. Um, even if you can't see everything, you can see enough to establish a perspective. And so get as close as possible to the real perspective. You can see it's pretty accurate. And then you move the, the, the starting point to something like this. And then you say, you right click, um, done. We're gonna come back and scale this correctly. But for right now, we're just going to uh, copy that little profile in. So one thing you see right now is you're seeing it's hard to see things and that's because we have just copied it in. We're at a particular view angle. So if you remember when we uh, press Z, we have a field of view. So this field of view is very wide and it's going to make it a little bit harder to, to edit. So I'm going to make the field of view 35. 
And then as I copy this, I see that it's not exactly at zero. So I'm going to bring it down to zero. I'm going to rotate it. And just going to line it, the box. The, the building is pretty much a box, so it's going to be a lot easier. Mm -hmm. If we go back to this photograph, see that it's on the other side, so that's going to be something we do as well. Let's move this to the right side. And so we see a bit of a profile where a little part comes out from this side. And, and uh, I'm going to use this as a reference right here. Where we're going to extrude up, and we're going to re we're going to extrude up. So we're using uh, inches right now. So again, you can use a calculator, um, but it extrudes up about eight feet. So we know from that that we need to edit the photo, and so we're going to um, edit the uh, match photo. With the all right, match photo dialog, it's in the tray toolbar. I'm gonna edit it here. I'm gonna edit it so that it recognizes a proper scale. Okay, and we're gonna measure again. Uh, I'm gonna say done. Then we'll measure with T, and it has a more accurate scale. Okay. So now that we have this, I'm going to actually use some construction line to help me delineate. So this comes out from the building, maybe about one foot. It doesn't look like it's square. I uh, could be wrong. Um, but I think it comes out maybe 12 inches or a foot. But now we have. This building. So we want to come up to be here. We see that it this goes up a little bit more than that. So they come down here. I'm going to make a little square up here. So this is a little tower that comes up. And come back to perspective match so now it's created a scene so we have a little thing on top of there we're not going to worry about that for now um, the front which is probably a parapet goes up further so we're going to take this down and go back to perspective so it's again we're using this working view help us orient ourselves and just making sure where everything is And I took away that face so I could pull this one down. And now we see this line was here. We don't need that. And after we done this, we see that this is a little bit too far over. Um, so again, we can always rescale this to the plan. So that was very useful to get the Google map geolocate size and we can of course scale this as needed alright so now we have this pretty much a scale in here so here's the nifty feature you can do to make make to the next level is we're gonna go ahead and make that a group we're gonna right click on it right click you look down at the bottom of the pop-up says you can project the photo so we're going to click that. Now we change it. We see that we have pretty much the elements for that building. So this will be done. Let's go ahead and copy this. Uh, we'll copy it. We're going to save it. And we're going to say this is uh, building one. We're going to fix it. And we're now going to go back into our geolocate file. We're going to import. And we'll 
scroll down to our building one. So you can either copy it in or do it this way. Um, so right now, I just come back over here. And again, um, the map is more accurate. So maybe my dimension was off by a little bit. But we can go ahead and just scale it. And then come down here. We can do that for the entire site. Um, and so you see how we can get very accurate results. And if you've seen some of the uh, interesting models on SketchUp, you know, and Google Earth, you know, you can get a whole site and realistic uh, just from those simple steps. Congrats on finishing this lesson. Do you have any questions or anything that needs to be clarified? Just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. This has been a lesson of the Complete SketchUp Guide. You can find the next link in the links below. Also, you can go to our channel for more great content. This has been Brandon with MotionForm. MotionForm is about architecture, innovation, and parametric design, helping you become the best designer. Thanks for watching. If you do like this content, please like and subscribe. I appreciate the love. I wish you the best. Thank you.